So Aaron Judge isn't far off. And Scott Boris just got fired by a big free agent. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So let's get to the first piece of news. It's not a free agent, actually, but the Boris Co Corporation just got fired by who, who guy who was a free agent who expressed serious frustrations. You'll see here. Jordan Montgomery. Okay. Where is it? There we go. Jordan Montgomery leaves Scott Boris after his contract with the Diamondbacks and free agency. Okay. This is a more a Boris move that backfired. And and Jordan Montgomery did express frustration that he wasn't signed, that it was no negotiations, there was nothing going on. So he wound up settling for a deal with the Diamondbacks, who seemed to be probably better positioned than the Rangers to retain him anyway. And it's a good, it's a good deal for the Diamondbacks. But with that said, this was one. This was Jordan Montgomery's one opportunity to cash in. Okay. So he'll be like, according to this right here, Amber Jordan Dimebacks sister, uh, starting pitcher Jordan Montgomery has reportedly dropped Scott Boris as agent after having to settle for an unexpectedly modest contract in free agency. According to Kylie McDaniel of ESPN, Montgomery will now be represented by Joel Wolf and Nick Chanock of Wasserman Sports and Entertainment. I think Joel Wolf also represents here in Carlos Santa, if I'm not mistaken, too. Um, Montgomery went unsigned until the start of the uh, 2023. Regular season when he inked a one year twenty I should say twenty foot twenty twenty four when he inked a one year twenty five million dollar deal with Arizona that includes a twenty five million dollar option for twenty twenty five. The Lefty was widely expected to sign a significantly longer deal with more money. With McDaniel noting that he had projected a five year one hundred six million dollar contract, and so on. So that's a pretty big significant move. Scott Boris agency being fired by a pretty significant player, and again. We'll see if he takes the same type of tactics because the fact is, Blake Snell had to settle for a small contract. So did Cody Bellinger, Jordan Montgomery, pretty much everybody he represented had to settle who was of age to cash in, right? And next year, Scott Boris is representing Scott, uh, Juan Soto, is representing Pete Alonso, is representing Corbin Burns. We'll see if he retains all these clients and see if he pulls the same type of tactics that he did with these clients. So it still remains to be seen. Okay, I'll keep you updated one way or another. So if you're a fan, especially a Yankee fan, you want to be kept updated on it, kept updated on all the news, make sure you sub to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Hit all the notifications too. Well, I greatly appreciate it. Your support means the world. I want to make sure you know what's going on. So, but that just that was just posted a little bit ago, and I want to make sure you knew about that. And again, you know, this is karma, Scott Boris. We'll see if he actually keeps his big clients. Still remains to be seen. Still early. He's gonna have to do right by. He's gonna have to make amends and do right by a lot of people. So, especially if Jordan Montgomery, you know, if his, if his team, I think it's team option, if the option's not exercised, he could be free agent again next year, and especially if he pitches well. And I think Cody Bellinger has the ability to become a free agent too, and I think Blake Snow has the ability to become a free agent as well. So, don't be surprised if Scott Boris uh, and Boris Corp gets fired by more clients. Don't be surprised. Now, let's get to the other guy we're talking about, Aaron Judge. Okay? Again. You know, his stats aren't sexy right now. And I have them right here. I know there's a lot of frustration with fans. You know, why is Judge not hitting? Keep in mind, he did miss, you know, 10 days towards the end of spring training. So he is operating from behind right now. Even though he's got a super talent level, he is operating from behind on, in terms of timing. But he is batting, what's he batting? 178 with two home runs and six RBIs. Okay. Not indicative of Aaron Judge production. But he's also drawing. 14 walks, which is either a team leading or an AL leading with 14 walks. So he's part of the reason why the Yankees home runs that are being hit are not solo shots. They're two run shots, three run shots. And in Jen Carlos Danson's case, a grand slam guys are getting on base. They're manufacturing runs. And the fact is they're 10 and three without major contributions from Aaron judge without Cole even being here. Okay. So the Yankees clearly have a better team. They get better depth, better balance all across the board. They clearly have a better team that they've had in years. So we can afford to be a little bit patient with Aaron Judge while he becomes the Aaron Judge that we know again, know and love. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, you know, and obviously it would have been nice had he made contact with them, made better contact with that last night, that fly ball last night. He was, you know, bases were loaded for him. I know some folks have expressed frustration that Juan Soto drew a walk, but that's a testament to his patience at, at the plate. And again, he wasn't getting hittable pitches. 
So the walk put themselves in a position to be driven in, and they load the bases. Aaron Judge flew out the center field. It is what it is. That's how that's how the game ended, unfortunately. But um, I, I I do think Aaron Judge is close. How far off? I don't know, but I think he's close. So, and I, I do think he'll turn it around in the near future. And they've got to they go to Cleveland now. The game they don't play today, tonight. So they're off, but they're going to Cleveland to play the Guardians for three, and then they go to Toronto to play the, the Jays for three. I do think it would be a good idea to probably give Judge a DH day one of those days and Stanton maybe an off day um, and maybe move Soto to the DH spot when they're playing on the turf in Toronto, at least for one game. But we'll see what they do. You know, I was talking to Anna Fee and, and D-Rod this morning on, their, on his live stream, and we were just talking about that. And I probably be a wise idea because then they got Milwaukee after that, and then they've got Baltimore after that which concludes a very difficult month for the Yankees. And the fact that they're 10-3 and three right now is a good sign. They're in a good spot. They're in a good spot. So I wanted to go over that. I wanted to let you know about Jordan Montgomery. I wanted to let you know about, you know, get your take as well, leaving your feedback you know, in the comments in terms of Aaron Judge. What are you noticing? Obviously, you know, he's, he's not hitting with authority right now. That's okay. But he is drawing walks. He, ex he is exercising patience. He's not hitting bad, bad, bad pitches. So that's a good sign, too. And I hope we'll continue to see some patience until he starts to hit the ball with authority. Because when they are clicking on all cylinders and we need labor tourists to pick up things when it's bad as well. You know, when they're clicking on all cylinders, this team's going to be dangerous. This team's going to be dangerous. And I'll, I'm going to finish with this. To the troll last night who decided to join, join my live stream, my post-game live stream, we're getting a lot of them. And they seem to be coming from one particular source, one particular group. And I'll say this, you know, whether you're voluntarily coming and trolling and either trying to put words in my mouth and and you did the same thing and you tried to troll another channel today, another live stream using the same tactics, whether you're doing it voluntarily on behalf of these folks or you're being inspired or directed by them, you got to be around here, that's the pure ignorance, pure immaturity. And it's the very definition of weakness. Say it again, weakness. Right? The fact that you have to do that on my channel, have to go on other channels and try to pull the same tactics, either to pit, 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 uh, pit people against each other and pull these same propaganda talking points. What are you trying to accomplish? It's not a flex. It's the definition of weakness. Let's have one question for you. How does that feel? Knowing that. Right, I'm gonna leave you with that, gang. Okay, you know, I don't know if anybody noticed it, but it was it happened last night, and it happens a lot on my live streams, and it comes from generally one source. And it's sad, it really is sad, but it's not gonna stop us from talking Yankees, it's not gonna stop us from keep reporting the good news and speaking the good words. So that's what I got for you. If anything else comes out, you'll get it. Have a great day, go Yankees. See you on the other side.